should be lyrical but strong, like fire and ice. Oh, Esther, what brings you to the fourth floor? I understand you're supposed to feature Iris and Tarot in the next year's junior festival. They earned it. Unfortunately, Tyrone won't be able to participate. Say what? I'm sorry, Tyrone. You failed sophomore English. You flunked me? I did all the work. I even handed in my term paper on time. Unfortunately, it bore a remarkable similarity to Iris's. Wait a minute. Are you accusing me of cheating? Tyrone and I study together. So what if the papers are similar? They weren't just similar, they were identical. And then why not accuse Iris? Because she is a straight A student. Let's be honest, Iris has been carrying you academic subjects for the entire year. Nobody carries me. I do my own work in my own way. You may think you do, but your reading is substandard. You couldn't possibly have written that paper. You know what? Forget this noise. I don't want to read no junior questions. Tyrone, wait, wait! You're not being fair, Esther. Tyrone works hard in my class. He's motivating my class. This young man has the potential to be a true artist. A true artist that can hardly read? Let Tyrone pass the academic subjects. Then we can talk about his future in the art. No, we'll talk about it now. Artists are special, so let's see your fools. They're blessed with the talent for breaking the rules. Get for confinement in cubicle schools. Artists are special. Artists are people, not pre made fools. They learn how to do before breaking the rules. They know that the brain is the finest.
Do you really think I'd let Tyrone just walk away after everything I've invested in him? Obviously, 